Hi there, it's Tanya from Tati Treasures. So, <clears throat> but today to do some more decorating of the Edith Alden, we've got three different ones here. We've got the brown little sack uh, things that Dee Dee had sent me. Um, I think that's that's a decoupage napkin that we've put in there. This is the one that's been decorated. So we've got another three that needs decorating. And we've got this one, which is the vellum uh, bag. This one's obviously been decorated and that's got a decoupage napkin in as well. So put that over there because they've been done. So there's three of those to be done. These are decoupage then. Yep. Oh, that needs sticking. Sticking down. Let me get that <coughs> now because it will give it a chance to, to dry. Right, I'm just going to set that over there. Let me just check the other ones while, while we at it. That one's fine. That one's fine. That's coming up a little bit. Surprisingly, our things do um, lift or we've not properly caught them. Okay, so we've got that one, and there's three of those, and then we've got this uh, paper bag one. That's the decorated one. Love this one. And then we've got a tag at the back. That's fine. So I'll pop that over there. I'm hoping to get <coughs> all three done in in one video because I'm keen to to get the series finished off. Um, now it's get, getting to the end of the year and I'm going to have to make some more Edith Alden things because um, I think <coughs> when I've looked through the, the box um, there's no like envelopes and um, pocket oh there's loads of pockets <laughs> that's mainly what we made isn't it um, there's no envelopes and like flippy out things and and things like that so um i will be continuing um making edith things but um yeah not not in the challenge obviously because that's done so have these been decorated yeah they're just decoupaged aren't they so i don't need to do anything to those so i'm just gonna do them you know very similar to each other i'm just gonna run some glue just across the the top and just pop some lace over the top i can't really see i've got my glasses on before before you say i bet you've not got your glasses on i have i don't know yeah i've got the right ones on as well but they've been on and off my head all day so they probably want to clean just Excuse me a minute, oh, I just, um... oh, that's loads better. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the only trouble when you keep putting them on your head. And obviously, it must be the grease or something. Not like I've got greasy hair, but obviously we've got natural oils in his hair. So I'm guessing it, it's just the oils from your hair and then marks all your, all your glasses. That's a little bit too short. That's fine. <laughs> So that's that. Love this um, like coffee colour with the the paper from from Lorna at Tony Made Journals. I'm sure you all know that <coughs> that one is my absolute favourite. It's very very eda. Um, I've just seen set three of. I think this is the vintage grun grungy wallpaper that I've got from Lorna, and I've got set one and two. Um, and I saw Fiona from Miss Paint a lot and she'd used set three and four um, and they look absolutely stunning um, but I did say to myself I printed all the kit out all number one and two 
so there was about 70 pages and I did say that I wasn't buying any more backing paper <laughs> until I'd used them all um, and I've, I've used quite a few um, way more than half um, and some of them I've, I've reprinted because um, there's three or four what are my absolute favourite um, and I've reprinted those quite a few times so um, yeah I'm not having any more until I've at least what you know used once uh, all the ones I've got so I want some um, kind of image on these so I've ended up putting all the little images back into here oh did I put them at the bottom of here aha aha um, because I've emptied my little dish what I was using because I'm going to be using that for for the botanicals and I have been um, gathering things things up ready ready so I'm ready for next year only because you know I'm I'm obviously not going to be filming Christmas week there will be videos up but um yeah oh I like that um so I just want to get myself organized so we can start the new year off isn't it funny that the first one went lovely and then since then that could work that's not going to where the dog padding about my partner's on a different shift to normal today um it went in a bit later so it's not back from work and i think it's about six o'clock now um and i think he's getting a bit where's my dad what's he doing yeah i'm not totally sure about that one but i feel fine about those Mm. I don't know about that one. It's always one, isn't they? <laughs> always one. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel like I've, I've got a lot left. I don't know what the yellow is. No, I don't like the yellow on there at all. Pink's gonna be right. So look at this one. Yeah, I like that. So we'll probably have to obviously keep getting those in and out. Oh, I'm gonna use vintage photo. It's been it's been a while because <laughs> I've obviously been using the the blues. So I bet this is quite moist because it's been upside down. Oh yeah, it's lovely quite dark that so shall I ink around these and some of the winter projects I've done I've not actually inked some of it so that's been a change a bit weird at first but it's surprising how you get used to it but um <clears throat> yeah I, th I think some projects really don't need inking I suppose with Edith if you if you didn't ink any of it, it'd look fine. It'd either be ink it all or don't ink it. Um, and I just like that it looks as if, you know, they've been torn out of a book and it's quite old. I think that's already been, been inked. Let's put that one over there. So we'll just get those stuck on and that's those ones done and dusted. I don't think it needs any ink like tea bag or anything underneath because we've got us uh collage underneath which is pretty enough so pop that in there that's lovely so that's one so i'm filming a bit in front i'm it's the end of the week it's the week that i've had off work 
uh, on annual leave so it's it's a funny week really because in one way I've got loads done um all the Christmas presents are wrapped, brought and wrapped all the cards have been wrote and sent off um got all the Christmas like food in apart from is actual fresh for the for the week so like Christmas is is done um presents have been um delivered to you know whoever they need delivering to so yeah on that way it's done um i spent a bit of time watching some tv um with my partner so that's those three four um yeah so i feel like i've spent some time with with him and then um I spent some time one two three uh with Alana we're watching um oh, I forgot what it's called it was very popular it's a bit like um it's a little bit like oh, I don't know. close encounters of the third kind oh it was a massive um series and I tried to watch it once before and I really couldn't get into it and I think it's a 12 I know as well and um, <laughs> it was time I wasn't old enough. And um, now she is. And she was saying that she was going to start watching that. And I said, oh, I'll watch it with you. So they're only like 40 minutes, I think, an episode. And um, so, yeah, I've been going into her room. And oh, I like that. Um, watching those. So that's been nice. Because uh, it's not often she lets me, well, lets anybody in a room. Normally because it's a tip, so she keeps the door shut, so we forget about it. So, yeah, I feel like I've, you know, done family things. Um, tomorrow we're all, because Ryan's off, um, it's supposed to be doing a bit of gardening, but it has given um, rain. There's <coughs> some, it's cut everything down, but um, there's some plants and things that need moving around so I don't know if he'll, he'll want to do it with it being uh, wet and then we said whatever we're doing tomorrow we're going to all finish at three o'clock so by four o'clock we've had his tea and then we're going to watch um, Christmas Chronicles it's a Netflix uh, film and I think it's Goldie Horn and Kurt Russell, her husband. Oh, and I love them. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing most of you can remember the Overboard film. Oh, absolutely brilliant. I had that on video. Um, watched it loads. One of my oldest daughters, it was one of her favourite films and she used to always want it on. Um, so, yeah, we're going to watch. And there's... Uh, a part two now as well so we're going to watch both of those I've bought one of those tins of I can't remember which ones I've bought I think I've bought I might have bought roses um, well anyway so family tin of chocolate and a bag of popcorn and we've got some fizzy pop because we don't always have fizzy pop it's normally a, well Christmas and birthdays and Easter <laughs> and Halloween um, and then the only other time I buy it is if we are having like a family film um, night so yeah we've got some fizzy pop um, so yeah hopefully we can all stay awake and watch two films together and then on Sunday what's that one let me just <coughs> ink around the, the bottom of that one I didn't the other one got any lace on it oh it had got a bit of that <coughs> uh, paper lace on it Um, I don't know if I could get away with putting any down the side or whatever I'll have a look perhaps I should have put that on first too busy chatting. Um, yes, yeah, Sunday we're going for a walk again. It's supposed to be raining all day, but we're going because uh, next weekend 
Ryan will be <coughs> working and uh, then it will be Christmas and like I say I'm, no I don't think it is um, I work Christmas Eve and Boxing Day so um, yeah it, it'll kind of, I like that it'll kind of be his last chance to um, I'm going to stick it down here to really do anything um so we're going to a ward it's about i don't know five miles away it's a really nice ward um <clears throat> and there's quite a big part of it what's fir trees um i think it is classed a little bit as um like robin hood uh, woods I think part of it is in that kind of um, area. It's it's really not very far from um, Robin Hood Woods, um, but that's always you know very busy uh, place because it it's touristy obviously. So this is just you know like a dog walk and and stuff. Um, that's that one and yeah so we're gonna go there take the dog and i feel like i want to put this i wish i'd have put this on first because it would have looked really nice um i'll take a flask of coffee and a flask of hot chocolate and i'll take a little bag of marshmallows and then we can pop as marshmallows in i think they're all the same I'm not as keen on, on them ones. I like those, uh, that bigger one. I'll have to ask Violet. In fact, I'm going to put that somewhere to remind me. <laughs> so ask Violet if she'll do me some of them. Yeah, they're a bit blocky. I think that needs to be underneath something so it's not like the main. Oh, hold on. I think there's one here, but I think it's white. But I could ink it, couldn't I? Let's try and ink over it and see. But I think it's too big to go on either of them anyway. But I'm going to ink it now. So it's ready for another time. So that's that. Put that in there. See if that's dried. Yeah. Pop this card back in there. So it'd be so nice to get these pieces uh, used and in something next year. Are you going downstairs, Alma? Yeah. Will you make me a cup of tea? Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're going to we'll take some hot chocolate and um, I even take my posh um, Christmas service mugs out because... Um, you know, people might be horrified and think, oh, what if they break and all the rest of it? But, um, you know, my grandma did say that she was giving it me because she knew that I would use it. And I do use it. And I think to myself, well, if anything does get broken and all the rest of it, you know, we've we've got lovely memories of it. Uh, and keep the only reason why we've got memories of it is because we have used it. If it had been stuck in a cupboard somewhere, we wouldn't have any memories of it. So it's there to be used, and it always, um, <clears throat> yeah, it it's part of you know our, our Christmas getting it out and and using it. Luckily, nothing has got broken. Um, you know, I'm sure at some point something will get broken and if it does, it does and that's it. So yeah, um, so I just take my spode Christmas tree um, mugs and I'm gonna sit in the car and have a sort of chocolate with this marshmallows on top and then uh, I've got some cobs which are bread rolls, I don't know. Um, I know in England we have lots of different names for uh, cobs. 
Um, so yeah, they. Oh, I'm gonna hide that, aren't I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go at the bottom. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go up here because that'll strengthen that top a little bit. Um, yeah. So I've got some cobs, which are bread rolls, and I've got some cooked chicken and some stuffing that I've got to put in the oven. I'll do that tomorrow when we have tea. So we'll have cold chicken and stuffing sandwiches. I'm sure everyone has stuffing. I love stuffing. And I'm gluten free so it can be hard to find some ready made stuffing that's gluten free but with it being Christmas um, I, I do normally be able to get my hands on some so I've got some quite nice um, stuffing stuffing so I don't know if to I feel like I need to put some of them on there but um, I've not got any collage stuff out Hmm, I think I'll leave that one playing and I'll just ink around it. Alna, are you going down now? Yeah. Here yeah, is my cup. Will you bring it me straight up because I'm nearly very thirsty. I'll just put my cup on the computer. So I think I'll put that one in plain. Really needs to see. I, I thought yellow because of the daisies, but then everything else is a bit pinky. So I don't know if to. I don't think the the dog rose goes with that. It's on there. Oh, thank you. Well, that's a shame because it nearly fills it all. Oh, I've got a clover here. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Because of those. So let's just ink that. And yeah, we'll, we'll take the dog and that. We normally get there and we go, oh, shall we have a sandwich? <laughs> so we get in the corner and we'll perhaps have a cup of tea and, and a sandwich. And then go for a walk and then come back into the car and have another sandwich and um, a hot chocolate. Right, I'm looking for something to collage with. I'm going to have to get my folder out. I can't remember. I'm sure I had a little bag of things what I was using for Edith Lauder. But I've been tidying it up and, like I say, going through everything, looking for things for the botanicals. So that's my little bag. Just look what papers I've got. I'll just pull that music out because I don't know if there's any music in there or not. That's quite nice. I don't know what coat that's out of, but it's like handmade paper, but a digital uh, version of it. got quite low on papers but I'm at that point where I'm not printing anything off I want to I want to use everything out because I've searched all through my files and things to make sure that um you know that I've been I've used everything that that I've bought because um you know you buy things when somebody releases a kit because you can't live without it but you're not ready to use it at that point. And then um, here's a, some more papers from Lorna. Um, yeah, and then, you know, it's stuck on your computer and you forget about it. So I did go through and I've printed off um, everything that I've not uh, printed out yet and I've put them into 
to folders and things. Um, yeah, because otherwise it's like, well, what's the point in, in using that? I don't mind if I only use them once, but, um, oh, sorry. Like, you've got to use them at least once, haven't you? Otherwise it's just a total waste of time. Well, money. So, that's a bit pinky and it's got a bit of yellow in it. So, yeah. I think that would be too much, that one with... Some of them up. Um, <laughs> just have to check where the paper's landed because obviously I've got the uh, candle there. I was thinking oh, that could um, be a disaster. That um, gingerbread candle's nearly gone actually. It's burnt down quite quick. Whereas the one that I had from, from Etsy. Uh, the woodland one that seemed to last ages, but that was uh, twice as expensive as this one. So, um, I wonder, I wonder if that does make a difference. But um, yeah, you think it can just a candle, and but maybe it's got something in it that um, you know stops it melting so quick or something. Right, we need something, something else, because it's a bit, it's a bit nondescript, isn't it? It's a bit bland. I like that. Let's give it some, some ink. So yeah, we're doing that Sunday anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna spend. Um, you know, most of the weekend together. Um, so yeah, I think I was saying that it's been, it's been one of them weeks where I don't feel like I've got a lot done, but I have just a different kind of thing. Um, I had got a lot of orders, um, and they have done for four or five weeks um, in my dream catcher shop for the DIY kits uh, to make your own dream catcher so yeah I spent a full day doing the orders and then the following day I went out and posted them and did food shopping and things like that so that was a day um, oh we went to the garden centre actually that, that same day while we was out um and we bought a couple of little houses just put it on there thank you yeah that's fine thank you it looks a good cup of tea <laughs> um <coughs> yeah we bought um a little toy shop and a little house and the light up if you've been watching um my vlog videos um i have took a a video on that i've really enjoyed doing the vlog videos been a lot of fun i don't think um i'd want to do them daily because um yeah obviously i'm i'm only talking about what i'm doing you know on that day and it's not like you know i'm not an out and about type of person um but yeah i do I do quite like the idea of doing a weekly one because uh, obviously I've been some days I've been doing you know bits and bobs and stuff but it feels totally different to to these kind of videos feel it just feels a little bit more casual so that's that one I'm quite happy with that one Um, I do feel like I want some lace there but I just don't want to cover that that be. I wonder about having a little bit down there. I don't, I don't know what happened to. Oh, it's a different pattern to that. I'd never noticed that before, didn't they? Different patterns. That, 
Mm, I think there's three different patterns. Not like it matters, but... Yeah, I think I'm just going to have that there. Just finish it, finish it off. Got it there. Um, yeah, and then I spent a day cleaning because, <coughs> to be quite honest, I've not cleaned up properly for a couple of weeks. Um, I run the, like I've got a sweeping brush here. You know, a tall one, a dustpanning brush upstairs and downstairs. And I've got one of those mops that you squeeze and the water comes up. And I've got one up and downstairs uh, to save that, carrying it up and, and down. Um, I've not had them up and down for very long. Um, but I'd bought um, like a plastic caddy and I've had... That's that one. Um, my cleaning stuff up upstairs for, well, probably since I first was poorly. Excuse me. <coughs> um, let me just get a drink. Oh, that's lovely. Um, yeah, so, you know, I put some window cleaner in, some, you know, bleach cleaner and whatever. Uh, I had cleaning cloths up here and stuff, um, <coughs> and my mum had a new a new Hoover, so I had an old one. So we did have a Hoover upstairs for a, a while, because um, it was really taking it out of me carrying the Hoover up and down stairs. Um, I'm just gonna pause. I feel like I've I need to just have a little bit of a cough. I won't be a minute. Okay, I'm back. Felt like that. You know where you feel like you've got something like stuck in your throat a little bit like a twig or something it uh, just felt a bit like that just gonna round these corners i'm leaving this as it is because it it matches um the honeysuckle on the paper so that one's going to stay like that um, again i think it needs something across the top um I'm gonna put that across there. I like that, that looks nice. So cut that there. And then I'm gonna cut another one for the bottom. Like so. So yeah, that was the whole day. I don't know if I got to the end of that anyway. But um, yeah, as time's gone on, then I, I got myself a just ban and brush. Uh, primarily for the craft room. Um, just to sweep up, you know, at the end of a day. Um, and then, not, not so long ago, a couple of weeks ago, and then I had one, another one of those square mops because... I needed a new mop downstairs and I replaced that and I thought, well, I'll try them squirty mops. Uh, I tried it was one years ago and I didn't reckon much to them. Um, but obviously they've improved since then and I really like it. So I said, oh, I'm going to have another one. Um, and it, it makes it so much easier having um, those things upstairs. Because... Um, as a mum, you'll know, we take enough stuff up and down stairs, don't we? Um, you know, I don't think it's very often that I go downstairs or upstairs and not take something uh, with me. <coughs> um, and, yeah, that's one of my main moans, really, about, you know, people not bringing their own stuff down and and stuff the times like i've tripped or something because i've just got far too much in my hands right i like that i think it brings out the color in my honeysuckle right i think i'm gonna round the corners on this one see if i can find something for this i mean i quite like it playing but I suppose it's a bit boring, but I like it. 
Yeah, and I think that was it. I think the week was then, then done, really. Because um, the weekend, as I'd worked on the Friday, I spent the Saturday, Sunday um, filming. And then, um, oh, yeah, the Monday, uh, I had a bad day, didn't I? Um, so, yeah, that was the week done. Right, let's see if I've got a bit of something to go on there. We're really scraping the barrel now, aren't we? I've got bigger images, but they're no good, are they, for, for this? That might be nice, peeping out there. Let's have a look. So if I put that there, I'm just going to ink around it. So yeah, when on the Monday when when I did have um a mainly bed day, um I had a couple of hours sitting on my chair in my bedroom and I did put out quite a lot of um kits and things um ready for the botanicals because I thought I'd got a Where's that book page gone? Um, I'd got a heap of stuff to cut out and I thought, well, I'll, I'll start cutting, cutting it out. I might put half a doily on. Yeah, I like that. I think that's probably all we'd need. So, I'm going to blow that candle out. And put the lid on. I don't know if it's that what's going on my throat. Um, but I have just um, cause Ryan's on a on a late. He'll have his tea at, at, at um, work. So I said to well, Alan, shall we just have some sandwiches? Um, and I've just had a, a cheese, cheese and ham sandwich, and I do find cheese, um. Can make me cough a bit. I don't know why. Um, I, I don't know because I'm gluten free, and I did wonder if, about um, wonder if I was a little bit uh, dairy as well. Because uh, two of my granddaughters are um, there's different types of being allergic to to milk, isn't they? And like some's the proteins or something. I don't quite. I mean, my daughter's explained it to me a million times, but. Um, but yeah, I have um, often, and I, I notice on days where I've had a lot of milk things, say if I've had some cereals and some cheese and hot chocolate, um, <clears throat> my throat like feels as if it's going to close up. So who knows? But if I only have a bit of it, I'm I'm fine. So yeah, I'm wondering if it, it's that, but my throat feels quite dry and, and scratchy, but all of a sudden, like it was fine uh, before. So it's either the candle or, or that. i put that down there. Bring that back in. It's going behind it. Yeah, I like that. And that's a rose. So that's that one. Oh wow, we've only got one left. Doo -doo -doo. So this is yellows. So I think we've got plenty of yellow stuff. Got that one. Bit insipid, isn't it? <laughs> bit too too big for that one, but I can, can cut it down. So I might I might leave the green one. Uh, plain. I don't think I've really got any words like quotes while fit. I 
think I've got many butterflies left. These are all a bit odd shaped. I've probably said before the art of the creating a butterfly. Um, I'm going to pause until these start. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, they're out of that creating a butterfly garden. And um, some of them are a bit like wonky, um, but they're fine. And if you get them positioned um, in a certain way, they don't, they don't look bad. So I'm going to leave that one plain. I've just rounded off the edges and inked it. So that's going to go there. Um, I don't want to put anything <coughs> across the top. I don't know if to... I wonder what lace would look like. Cause... No, I'm not keen on. On that, I've got some paler one here, but yeah, it looks a bit odd, don't it? Covering the butterfly, I don't know if to just stick it all the way down one edge. What does it look like down this edge? Because it's a bit more plain, isn't it? I think I'm gonna do it down that edge. Let's um. This off. I'll just do it a little bit bigger because this one's um, a bit elastic so if you've kind of pulled it down to the end sometimes when, once you then stick it down it's um, it boils up and it's too too short so I'll just go over that bit of pocket that really doesn't doesn't matter I will pop that on there. And I'll just snip that bit off. Yep, so that's that. Um, I'm gonna ink around this, it's just about to say what did I do with that other piece of doily, but I can see it. So if that went there, let's cut this off around here. like that and I then can stick this on there because I might as well then because I find if if you do leave off a doily or whatever they just seem to get crumpled up they're not as bad if they're, they're you know full but yeah just seem to get crumpled up I often if if I've just used half, I'll then just chuck it in, um, kind of my scraps. Oh, I didn't quite get it to the end and it stuck <laughs> and I didn't pull it up. So um, that would have been a catastrophe. So that's ink around there. The green and the yellow <coughs> music. That's not real music paper. That's um, a digital from from Lorna's shop. Obviously, it is a digital. She's scanned it. Uh, real. She's scanned it in. But um, yeah, it, it's a digital uh, digital copy. So, which is really handy because uh, the music book that I do have, uh, it's a really really old one, and. I, I had run out and I couldn't find another one. I've since found it, but um, yeah, I'm liking having it in a digital format. Because obviously then, you, you know, you can print it on something thicker. So that's that. I feel like it's missing something. 
don't know. I feel like I need something here. But is it going to be either kill if we have another butterfly? But, I mean, you know, in my garden where I plant, sometimes you get loads all of a sudden. I do like that there. And I'm not going to ink it. Yeah, I can see you can get four or five, <coughs> four or five butterflies all, all around something. So that's that one. Well, <laughs> they're all done. Let's have a, a quick, quick look. Let's put the lid on. So we've got the the paper bag ones. And the vellum bag ones. Really simple way into making pockets and I really do like them. And then obviously you don't have to stick them down, you can just paper clip them. And then those little um, craft uh, bag things. I'm going to say I've never seen these to to buy. Really enjoyed using these. So that's that. So that's me for now. And I shall see you very soon. Bye.